In this episode, I'll demonstrate how easy it is to set up, use, and restore deleted files using Apple Time Machine in macOS Ventura. Let's jump right in with a demo. So let's get started. The simplest built-in backup feature available on your Mac is Apple Time Machine. To use it, you need an external disk connected to a USB or Thunderbolt port on your Mac. The beauty of Time Machine is that it keeps hourly backups for past 24 hours, daily backup for past month, and weekly backup for all previous months. All these backups are deleted as space is needed. That's all backups of installed apps, emails, your personal data, documents, movies, music, photos, and the way your Mac looked in the past in order to restore it later. Setting up Time Machine on your Mac is as easy as 1, 2, 3. 1. Purchase an external disk. Perhaps the hardest thing for you to do on your part is deciding on the type of external disk and storage space needed for your Time Machine backups. Generally, purchase an external disk double the size of your current Mac internal storage. 2. Once the external disk has been purchased, simply connect it to your Mac. Usually, after formatting or connecting a new external disk to your Mac, you'll see the following auto-loading Time Machine notification. And from the Options drop-down list, click on Setup, where you'll be presented with the following Time Machine setup window. If you don't get the Time Machine notification after formatting or inserting a new external disk, then simply launch system settings, either by clicking on Launchpad or on the Apple logo and selecting System Settings. Click the General button, then click on Time Machine as shown here. And just like before, you'll be presented with the Time Machine setup window. And three, set up disk. From the Time Machine setup window, click on the Add Backup Disk button. With the disk highlighted, click on Set up Disk button. Now, optionally encrypt your backups if you like, but it's important to note that your data can't be restored if you forget your password, not even by Apple. I usually turn it off. Optionally, you can limit the amount of space needed for your backups. Once again, I usually use the entire disk and check none. Now, after clicking the Done button, the Time Machine preparation will begin. After a moment or so, in my case 15 seconds, it shows that the next backup will start automatically in one minute. I usually prefer to start my backups manually. Simply click the Options button where you can choose the frequencies of backups from manually or automatically every hour, every day or every week. After clicking the Done button, I'll just right click and stop the automatic backup and manually start it in a moment. You can also choose to exclude items from your backups. Click on the Options button once again, then click on the plus button and choose what items to exclude. Similarly, to include items back in backup, simply highlight the items and click on the minus button. Optionally, Add or remove the Time Machine icon from the menu bar as shown here. I'll now start the Time Machine backup. Simply right click on the backup or from the menu bar and choose to backup now. The Time Machine backup process will now begin. Seriously, it's that simple. The first backup could take a long time depending on the number of files you have and types of storage devices, hard disk or SSD. You can continue to use your Mac while Time Machine backs up your Mac. Future backups are faster as Time Machine only backs up files that have changed since your initial backup. Once Time Machine has finished the first backup, you will get the following notification. Again, this is entirely up to you. I generally eject the Time Machine disk and manually initiate a backup of my Mac every two weeks. Moving on, I'll now show how easy it is to restore deleted files. I'll just delete the following files from the Movies and Pictures folders completely as shown. To restore these items, I'll just connect the Time Machine disk if not already connected and from the menu bar click on the Time Machine icon and select Browse Time Machine Backups. On the bottom right hand corner of the screen you can scroll through the timeline for the date and time that you last did a Time Machine Backup. 
Use the on-screen up and down arrow shown here to jump to the last time the contents of a particular folder changed. Or just right click on the pictures folder and use the up and down arrow to locate the items that was in the pictures folder before it was deleted. Once located, I'll select all and right click or control click on an item for additional options and either select to restore the items or click on the restore button here to restore the backup files. As you'll notice, all the files deleted from the pictures folder has been restored. Repeat to restore the deleted files in the movies folder. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching, thumbs up if you liked this episode, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so, and remember to hit that bell icon to be notified of the next upcoming episode. Peace!